you hear, O oh Lord, you hear the desire of the, the afflicted. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, so that man who is of the earth may strike terror no more. I want you to know something, weary sister, broken down brother. Your desires, if you're a child of the king, will be fulfilled. We looked at the desires of the wicked, they will perish. Yours will remain if you are in Christ. There is nothing that can keep you from his love. Your desires for something better will be met. Do you know why? Do you know why that when you open your mouth and you open your heart and you cry out to God, do you know why God hears your cry? It's because there was someone who came before you and he had a cry and he had a lament. And when he was on the cross, he asked God to hear him. And you know what God did? He turned his face from his only beloved son, the one he loved from the, from the dawn of time. He turned his ear away from him so that he could open his ear to you, so that you could be a child of the king. Jesus went to the cross. And you know the lament he chose? We have it in Psalm 22. He cried, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I've never done anything to deserve this. Why are you hiding from me? Why won't you listen to me? He did it so that you, when you take a lament, and when you come and when you express the hurt in your heart, that God will meet you in that place. You can't have healing if you don't give it to the Lord. And I want to take this time. I know this may be a little uncomfortable, but if you have a lament, and I know there's people in this room who are walking through things that are harder than anything I've been through. It may be harder than what you've been through, but pain doesn't compare to pain because it's all personal. And it all feels like this is the hardest thing I've ever been through. If you have that pain, I want you to come and I want you to just get alone in the front and I want you to just cry out to God because that's where we start. And if you don't start, you may never get to the finish line of healing. But that's what we want. We want healing for everyone. And I know the pain in small and I know it's far greater and it's more than I could carry on my shoulders, but Jesus carried the weight of the world on his. And if he can't help you, there is no hope. But he can and he will. And so this last song that we're going to be led in, I just want to invite you. This is an invitation. It doesn't matter what your family thinks. It doesn't matter what the people in the next aisle think. You probably don't even know their name. They don't know yours. Now's the time. Guys, this is the start of healing. And we need it, all of us. We need healing. And so I invite you, come. Lay down your lament before the Lord. Because we all need it equally. And take this time and find the healing that you have. Lead us. Here's my heart, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Speak what is true. Sing that again. Here's my.
If you want to linger for a moment, you're welcome to. If not, um, you are sent and uh, you are loved, friend. Thank you for being here.